guys welcome back to my youtube channel my beautiful name is anita b22 if you're new here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you and welcome back so uh don't mind my background today and the background noise i'll try to use a noise reducer but for now this is all we want i just felt like we should talk today and uh, uh yeah let's just get right into it uh what i'm going to talk about today is the things that i've come to realize as i have grown up i don't know if it's making sense like the things that i've just come to know exist as a child i never used to understand how things were going really until I became a grown ass woman and I'm like no I don't like being a grown up anymore things used to be so easy on me nowadays I can't even just like like relax I don't know anyway one of the things that I just realized surviving is not as easy as just sleeping and waking up in the next day <laughs> it is such a hectic lifestyle i don't know you you have to think about people that you will have to feed you have to think about bills things that i never like as a kid those things never used to bother me as such and i never understood that it takes a lot to just be a responsible person i just know i have to wake up break up breakfast has to be there like i have to eat lunch have to eat dinner to eat dinner and uh, yeah i have to go to school i don't know a lot of things and uh, hey even when we were lacking i i never used to understand why are we even lacking and parents are there to parents are there to like give me what i want why am i lacking i need a sweet mama just buy for me a sweet eh until now nimekuwa mkubwa and i'm like where even buying you that that a hundred bob something is just a lot because you don't know what they go through trying to get that money Anyway, don't mind my background. This is my this is I'm 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 selling toys over here, so that's why the the nini the car is so full over there. Mm. So yeah, nowadays, uh when I think of just chilling and relaxing in the house, I remember oh my god, there are bills I have to pay. There's there's I don't know school fees I have to pay. There's hey, there's just a lot that I have to do, and I just, I just even don't have the peace. To just stay and relax I, I cannot remember the last time i was in the house for a whole day i cannot remember and even if i make some certain amount of money it never is enough for me i don't know maybe i'm just i'm just not making enough but i don't think so because everyone else is hustling the same the same way i'm i'm doing i think so like where nowadays i do respect every single every single coin every single thing that they they used to do for me that my parents to be precise i really do appreciate them nowadays i really now this is when i'm now regretting why i used to ask them questions like why is the school fees not, not yet paid why like it's not easy the second thing that i that, that i learned that i have just learned is uh value or treasure the moments that you're having with your family because it is it does not last forever there are this these days i used to stay with my parents back at home and my family and i i don't know that company was just so fun nowadays that i'm staying on my own hey it feels so empty sometimes you just miss them literally because now you, you cannot be in family gatherings every single day you can even just see them maybe once or twice a month and that connection that you used to feel back then i really do regret kukosana na my na my siblings because about nowadays i really do miss them like so much i miss being around them making fun i don't know just being okay yes i have i have like a baby and sometimes i just they 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 just visit around but then unajua mimi na kabebi only we cannot talk a lot and he's still so young so 
literally I'm the only one who's trying to bamba him. <laughs> yeah, it's li- I really do I really do feel it. I really do feel the emptiness. And um this is what I'm just like appreciating the fact that we were we were we were we were living such a good life being in a big family together. Yeah. The third thing that I have learned just when I grew up is Kitambo when I was a baby I never used to understand the like the emptiness of death. Kwanza mtu akiniambia analia kusababu shosho yake amekufa. I was like, "What? Really? But it am joani cuz mimi sikuwa na joananga na my grandparents back then like we were so it was so rare and yende nikawa visit. So nilikuwa nashindwa. Ai, kweli? That's what's making you cry until I experienced that exact thing from my family like someone passed away and ninamjua it just it doesn't have to be so close or so whatever hata kama tu ni relative ama friend it's really deep it's really deep maybe it's just because i had never like had someone so close to us ama someone who's just family when you pass back then eh but when i realized that i i don't know i feel i i pity my my baby self like the young me cuz i was so naive and took things so lightly until I, yeah this is just when i'm realizing it was so bad aha uh-huh. the fourth thing that i have realized is not everything will have to go the way you want it you know when i was a kid i was like if i want to transfer school i'll just tell my mother and i'll transfer school if if i want to eat this i'll just tell her i don't want to eat whatever you're preparing i want to eat this and she will do it for me nowadays sometimes i just feel like having pizza and i cannot have it because babu there are people there are people who don't have to have, like when i found like i don't know how to say it now that like my baby i cannot just have pizza and he he's going to have ugali it's it doesn't work that way like i have to consider people to make a decision i don't know if you if i'm making sense but yeah not everything works your way like squeezy you are the one who's working working under people's commands yeah you get it if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> yeah another thing is friendships friendships are so different when you're a grown up like friendship as if an adult friendship is to the total those friendships are so true so pure so i don't know so real until i became a grown up oh my god you will have a friend that's only a friend when you have to benefit them i'm a leo peke and kesho you guys are no longer friends i don't know there's just a season of life a season in life that will make you be friends with someone not because you you wanted to but just because you guys are maybe are working together or have met in a business something and then now you have to pretend that to be friends at that time may be not pretend really you will be friends cuz now you've known each other and you are like there's something that you're pushing that new are willing to your benefit mukisha maliza hey my friend your friendship in Aisha and Aisha and Apotea you will just be remembering eh and i had this friend and nowadays i don't even talk to them yeah things are that hard life is that hard so i think let me just make this video that short uh next time i'll just prepare a list because babu says i'm i'm like uh, a lot like nakata kata maneno sana cuz i'm not i had not like really planned i have just thought of it and uh, thought i should share with you guys and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video uh yeah let's meet in our next one so please come back early don't forget to subscribe share my videos suggest on what you guys would want to see in my channel and i really appreciate it please give this video a thumbs up and uh, let's grow together let's meet in the next video i love you bye